Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Bumgars, owner of 440 Chiropractic, and today I want to teach you about omega-3 fatty acids, also known as EPA or DHA. And what essential fatty acids are is you have to get them through your diet. Your body doesn't make them, and you can get it through a lot of oils. So omega-6 and omega-3 are the two types. Omega-6 increases inflammation, and omega-3 decreases inflammation. Omega-6 you probably get plenty of and if you live in America. Examples are uh, a burger and fries or um, an any animal proteins, vegetable oils, that sort of thing. So most Americans get plenty of omega-6. And omega-3 examples are fish oils, flaxseed oil, krill oil, hemp seed oil. Most likely you don't get enough of that. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, I'm fine, I eat fish once a week. The problem with fish nowadays, though, is its mercury content, which is detrimental to a lot of body functions, such as your brain function, liver, kidney, can be really toxic for your body. So you want to avoid um, any mercury if you can. And that's why supplementation of omega-3s is actually really important nowadays. Um, because first of all, we don't get very much of it in the American diet, and second of all, the quality is really important. So that's one supplement I highly recommend. It's extremely important for so many um, functions of your body, and it really is a baseline of your health. So your cells, you have billions of cells in your body, and they're made of a phospholipid bilayer. And so if you don't get enough omega-3 fatty acids, they're very rigid, and those the cells just don't function properly. They, they're not fluid enough and they don't interact properly. And you can have issues such as pain. You can have issues um, in brain function, in um, blood sugar balance, in cardiovascular health. There's so many things that are a direct um, influence or the omega-3s directly influence, that it's really important to make sure your ratio of omega-3 to 6 is, is good. And you're only supposed to have one omega-3 for every four omega-6. So it's actually, you can have more omega-6, but you're supposed to have um, a good balance, and most people are completely off. Like 91% of Americans are deficient in omega-3s. So there's a way you can test for it. It's a blood prick test. You prick your finger and then you send the sample into the lab. They send it back and they tell you what your um, omega-3 content is in your blood. And then supplementation. The American Heart Association recommends two to four grams per day. A lot of supplements you find are only about 500 milligrams, which really isn't enough. So it's a really important thing to look into and I would love to answer any questions. If you have them, you may email me or call me or text me. And my information is at www.thenumber440chiro.com. Thank you. Have a good day.